From 1946 until 1950, many schools occupied the barracks at Carlisle, among them the Army Information School, Military Police School, Adjutant General School, Chaplain Corps, the Army Security Agency, and a school for government of occupied areas. These schools moved to other locations and continued to support the educational requirements of the U.S. Army. Carlisle once again was without a school, but that would soon change. The small army post standing on the crossroads of American history would once again become center stage for a unique school, one that would impart global influence. Out of Adversity, an institution to preserve the peace. The U.S. Army War College was created as a result of the deficiencies exposed during the Spanish-American War. General Orders No. 155 established the War College to train staff officers. The first class was held in 1904. The school moved to Carlisle in October 1951. For more than a century, the Army War College has prepared senior military officers and civilians for strategic leadership responsibilities. Today, the school confirms a master's degree to men and women from all over the world, training leaders on the strategic lessons of history, while educating current and future leaders on the development and employment of land power. The U.S. Army War College is the senior educational institution of the U.S. Army. Among its hundreds of distinguished graduates are Generals John J. Pershing, Dwight D. Eisenhower, H. Norman Schwarzkopf, and Admiral William F. Halsey. The future Army Chief of Staff has no doubt passed through these hallways and will one day lead the Army. The Army War College has played host to current and former presidents at our commencement addresses. Former President Dwight D. Eisenhower visited the college in 1965. You have been selected by your several services for education because of the promise you have shown in your earlier work, in your experiences in war and peace, you demonstrated that you were the character and the mentality that you should be given greater, wider opportunity to use those talents and that past experience. When we turn in the future, I mean your future, you realize that you have just passed through one of the turning points in your life. George W. Bush addressed the college in 2008. The Army War College instructs current and future world leaders who will go on to serve our nation in positions of great responsibility. Quote, not to promote war, but to preserve peace by intelligent and adequate preparation to repel aggression, this institution is founded. End of quote. February 21st, 1903, Secretary of War, Elihu Root. For over 230 years, the U.S. Army has trained soldiers in a variety of schools here at Carlisle Barracks. Schools of artillery, cavalry, and medicine, and today at the U.S. Army War College, have prepared soldiers to preserve our freedoms. The Carlisle Indian Industrial School educated over 10,000 Native American students, but it also helped to educate our nation of the values of diversity. The schools of Carlisle Barracks have played a major role in building this nation improving the quality of health care, and uniting our country from sea to shining sea. The Army has, in many ways, blazed a trail, forged ahead, and cleared a path for others. And the many who have traveled that path have started here.